Hey all, it's Scott from Your365 Coach. Today we're going to be covering a new version of Microsoft Loop. Yes, Loop 2.0, including a new user experience and new Microsoft Copilot capabilities. So today I'm going to show you how to use those new experiences which are rolling out today so you can get the most from them. And before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button to let me know that this content has helped you and the all important subscribe button to find more great content like this that helps you every single week get more from the tools you already have. Anyway, let's dive into Loop and check out 2.0. Welcome to Loop 2.0. For many of you, it would already be available today, but for some, it's still rolling out. And don't worry, when it is available, it will automatically show when you next load Microsoft Loop. But when you then have Microsoft Loop 2.0, you'll see in the sidebar, it's a much different experience. Accessing the Loop home page, you get this new minimized left-hand navigation bar. By selecting expand tabs, it looks a little bit more like it did before, but you do have some new options. For example, selecting create new here allows us to create a brand new page in our ideas section. By selecting new workspace, we can create a brand new workspace. But on the left, we can also now easily access search that many of you have asked questions about before. By left clicking this option, you can do a keyword search or even a search one of your loop workspaces. As an example, let's put in the word meeting in our search bar. You'll see it finds a range of different content all across our loop pages. But even better, we now find text on all of these pages where the word meeting has also been inserted. So you won't need to use the loop page titles as the only area to search from you can use text to find the relevant loop page really quickly using that search button. Alongside that, we now have a new recents tab showing all the recent pages and components you work with in loop. The ideas section that you had for your ideas pages previously and a meeting notes section allows us to look through all of our different weeks and quickly access all of our meeting notes that we've had powered by loop and Microsoft Teams. Simply left clicking into them, we now see all of our loop notes. In addition, it now even supports a meeting series or reoccurring meetings through the new meeting notes section in Loop 2.0. We can also see a list of all of our workspaces. Now, when you go into any of these workspaces, a new experience on the left also follows through here. You can also minimize it to see the icons on the left to declutter the view of the navigation bar, providing more real estate for your Loop content. If Loop 2.0 still has you scratching your head, how about I help you learn the most from Microsoft Loop? Because yes, at Your365 Coach, we can help you on your journey in Microsoft 365 apps, and especially Microsoft Loop. You can either access an on-demand masterclass that we have available today via the link below, or you can get in touch and have some live training for Microsoft Loop, showing you how to use Loop in the best possible ways and how it can aid collaboration and productivity for both you, your business, and your team. So you can find out more at the Your365 Coach website, link below, and we can help you on your journey in Microsoft 365. Alongside these navigation changes inside of Loop 2.0, there's now also new Microsoft 365 Copilot capability. We can create Loop pages in seconds just by giving it a prompt. We're going to go and check it out here. By clicking the plus icon to create new, let's go ahead and create a new page inside of my workspace. Immediately we're prompted to set up this page with Copilot. We can reuse a page that already exists inside of our Loop workspace. We simply point it to it and tell Copilot what it should now have in the content. Alongside that, you can also use a Loop template, which is available from all of the Microsoft templates provided and have Copilot fill in all the blanks in relation to your piece of work. But in addition, we can also tell Copilot to create something from scratch, where we don't use one of your Loop template pages or something you've created before. Let's go ahead and ask Copilot to create us a new Loop page around Project Greenspace. With our prompt added into Copilot, we can go ahead and send it into Loop. You'll now see live on the page that Copilot will now begin to create the content including elements like loop tables and loop paragraphs and more. Because now Copilot is aware how to use loop, it's even more powerful. 
We can see here it's created its own scope information, the project goals, key deliverables, a timeline, stakeholder list, potential costs we're gonna have, and also success metrics. This was all created in less than 30 seconds. You can also ask Copilot to adjust this page further, but if you're happy, select Keep Draft, and this, like any other loop page, can be changed in place. You can also make various additions to it. But now with a new Copilot capability for assisted page creation, it makes Loop and Copilot even more powerful as part of Loop 2.0. There's some of those new capabilities you can use today when you have Loop 2.0. So what do you think about the new loop experience in 2.0? Do you like the new Copilot capabilities? And what about that new user experience? And will it change the way that you work in loop? Well, I'd love to know in the comments below. And of course, personally, I do like the new experience, but I found it most useful to use the Copilot capabilities to create loop pages in seconds, which has saved me those all important minutes. The only problem though, is you will need a Microsoft 365 Copilot license, which sadly are not available for free. But outside of that, these new changes should make Loop even better. And of course, there's even more changes in the future coming in Loop. Now, if you'd like this video, hit that like button to let me know it's helped you and the all important subscribe button so you can check out our latest content every week designed to help you get more from the tools you already have. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.